It's one of those nights. Lights off. Have you got it? I don't know. Can I help with anything? You burn toast every time. Go back to bed. Yes, Chef. Happy with it? I don't know. I think so. <laughs> I've gone for pizzazz. Pizzazz? <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> I've gone for something different. I've gone mm -hmm. for something sexy because food has to be sexy. And this is Michelin star sexy. Well, uh, it looks like a work of art. I won't be a Michelin star chef much longer if they don't like the dish, so... Hmm. You're not going to lose your star. It's incredible. Morning, sunshine. What's for breakfast? What would you like? We haven't got time. Try some of my ravioli? Nah. Juliet, there is no easy way to say this, so I'm just going to come out and say it. You have been a fantastic chef, but as you know, we are in danger of losing the Michelin star, and I no longer feel you're the right chef to help us retain it. I understand everything you have done for us as a restaurant, but it's time for a clean slate and a new voice in the kitchen. You do not need to come in today. Uh, we will arrange a time for you to collect your things. I wish you all the best for the future. You are an excellent chef. I'll, um, I'll see you later. The ravioli? What's this? Mum's choice. I saw that the Cedarwood were hiring. Mm mm. Microwave chefs. I don't mind it. Yeah, well, you don't mind a microwave meal. good enough well i thought i'd treat you i got a text from claudia saying you were answering her calls some wine some girl time isn't that what you need she's free tomorrow come on mary poppins you're driving no dad you don't understand it was all ethan's fault he was never passing the ball to me he knows i can score <sighs> it's because i didn't share my sweets at school with him we lost because he didn't pass well why didn't you share your sweets? losing's not so bad as long as you're having fun I am having fun. I just don't want to lose. I want to win. It's not all about winning. Yeah, it is. Dad lets me get a burger if we win. OK. Do you want to go get a burger? Nah, we lost. Does he hate me? Nah. I 
I just don't think we should be rewarding him for winning. I don't reward him for winning. He said when he wins, he gets a burger. I take him for a treat. When he's worked hard, the score doesn't matter. He's thrown me under the bus there. Sure. Don't tell me as a parent. Excuse me. Don't tell me as a parent. Help me, Claudia. Juliet. My darling, how are you? I heard what happened. Those bastards! How are you? I'm just taking some family time. Oh, honey, you have to. When you want to come back, you come and work for me, OK? <laughs> I'm not sure I'm going to be. I would be crazy not to have you in my kitchen. <laughs> Thank you. So what do you say? Uh, I don't know right now. Honey, no matter what it is, we will make it work. You tell me what wage you want. You can have it. You tell me what hours you want. You got it. More family time, more holidays, more responsibility. Whatever it is. That's amazing. I just need more time. If you start it next week, we can get everything in line for the autumn menu. The world needs your cooking. I need your cooking. More wine? You have full control over the menu, the chefs and everything. It's me. We get two Michelin stars. Jules, that's amazing. Thank you, Claudia. I'm just really not sure right now. Unstoppable. That's what we would be. Don't you agree? I do. So, when can she start? Whenever she's ready. OK, Claudia, I love you. You're amazing. I think you're an amazing person, but I really don't think I'll be doing that. What's stopping you? I'm not a fucking microwave chef. That was rude. Shoved you a job. Why wouldn't you take it? I'm surprised you even know what that is. You're kidding me. Well, you could work there. It's easy. I'll stay at home and just hang Get out. Get a grip, with Sam. Juliet. Shall I go back to work? You, the workaholic. We made a decision together. We both wanted to stay at work, but we thought that you were in the better place. You think you're that Michelin star all by yourself? Without me, doing pickups, drop-offs, all of the cooking at home. You could have gone back to work. And started from the beginning, hmm? <laughs> Taking something that was below me. You could have. You could have. Does Sam hate me? Do you know any other ten-year-olds that try and describe the marbling of the beef in a spaghetti bolognese? Hmm? Of course you don't. I just don't know what to do. It was more than just a job, you know? I feel like I put a little piece of myself into that restaurant. And I worked so hard for years. When I finally got there, I thought, this is it. I'll be happy. I just, I just don't think I can face starting again. No one can take away what you've achieved. I know, I know that. I just feel this huge sense of loss. 
like a pit in my stomach. And every time I go in the kitchen and I cook something like beans on toast, my heart is so heavy. You're grieving. God, don't be stupid. You are. <laughs> the restaurant was your baby and it was taken away. You need time to grieve. Well, do you want to go back to work? Because this could be your time to- I am very happy watching you fly. I might burn toast, but you broke the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Mum, you see my socks? They're on the radiator. What's that? It's a new recipe. Nice. He approves. Would you like to try? Nah. <laughs>